Hi folks, let's get this Mighty Bike clamp correctly working in Fusion 360 in this hole to show it clamping on to this part. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. Great example as well. Go to McMaster Car, type in clamp, setup clamps. You look through all your options here. Ooh, there we go, low profile clamps. You can copy this part number and in Fusion, go to Insert, McMaster Car Component, just like that. Phenomenal. Here's my Mighty Bike clamp. I can turn it on and off. See how, instead of it being a solid cube, like the other part is here, it is two cubes. That means it, it itself is an assembly, or whatever they call it. I call it an assembly. Meaning if I expand it, there's two separate components here. Now, I might be wrong. I'm not sure you can have joints flow through sub-assemblies if that makes sense or what I'm going to do to fix it is take this component and drag it up here and do the same with this one so basically I can ignore this guy now and I've got this part and I'll call this one the cam screw and I'll call this one the uh, hex clamp two separate components now as part of this assembly the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys the quick way to do this, which is accurate, but it doesn't let us visualize how this clamp's going to work. Hit I to measure. I'm going to measure the height of this hex piece, which is 0.19 inches. J for joint. I'm going to turn off the hex part so I don't see it with the light bulb. I want to join. See how I hover my mouse right here underneath this lip? Now hold the control key down. And that's going to let me come in here and pick. Now be really careful because the way these work is this is an offset screw. So there's going to be two different center diameters, one here and one a little bit lower. I'm going to be really careful when I pick that. So let's see here. I want only that one, not the other one. See, see how you got two? So pick that guy. So I want that location of that plane to be a revolute joint around, hold my mouse here, hold control, there. So it's, you can see it's revolving, it's giving us the right visualization. The difference is I don't want it to be flush. So what I like to do is take this thing and drag it up. That shows me which thing I want to modify. So it's offset in Z. I'm going to go negative 0.19. Uh, let's see here. That's actually not correct, though, because I just realized I don't want that distance. I want the only this shoulder's distance. So here to here, 0 0.033. No big deal. Let's just go back, right-click down at the bottom of your screen, edit, and we'll say negative 0 0.033. Perfect. So I try to drag this, oops, but I move the whole thing, which means I need to ground something. So I'll click on this once. That shows me uh, the underlines here, which tells me this is what I want to right click, ground. That keeps it from moving. And now if I zoom in, I can turn my screw. Awesome. So now all I need to do, J for joint, and continue. I want to join, hover my mouse right here. Either of these would actually work. Hold the control key, click that coin. I want that to revolve. Now, this is going to get hard to select, so I'm going to turn off the light bulb for this fixture. It's going to let me see the bottom side. So I want that to revolve, I think, around that. See, I've got to be careful here. I picked the right thing. This should work, yeah. The difference is I don't want this coin. See how that one's located a little bit south of that one? That has to do with the offset nature. So hold the control key, come in here, click that coin. Now before I click OK, I'm going to reorient it to the top view, and I want to watch it revolve. It gives you a little animation at the first uh, to replay that. I'm just going to click play, and sure enough, you can see it's revolving correctly around what I want. Unfortunately, for no good reason that I can think of, Fusion carries through the Z offset from my last joint, which is a bit silly, I think. So change that back to zero. 
And again, I'll take a look from the top view. Uh, I like that. Click OK. Boom. Look at that. There we go. I can rotate both. I can rotate one. We're good. Here's the problem. It doesn't tell me how this clamp is actually going to work. I was trying to show this and I realized, huh, I made a mistake. See that? This is revolving without the OD moving in a cam manner. That's wrong. So what did I do? Expand my joints. It's this one. If I'm not sure, I can right click and say animate it. That joint shouldn't be revolving. It should be resolving in a cammed manner. So I think I just screwed up. Uh, here. How do I? I guess I have to stop the animation. I don't know. Edit joint. Here we go. I clicked the wrong thing. That's all. So in the component one, there we go. Amateur mistake. Turn off the fixture so I can see it. I clicked the outside shank. It should actually be this guy. There we go. See now it's revolving in a cam manner or offset manner. Perfect. Sorry about that. So now you can see, you can kind of see how it's going to change the clamp. This is where fusion though, in my opinion, doesn't work as well as my old, I remember in SolidWorks, there was a parallel joint, which was really nice because you could force this face to be parallel to this face. And I've asked for that and the, it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So how do you actually get this clamp working? I want to see it freaking work. I want to rotate this screw and have this thing move in and out. Here's how. That last joint that we made that revolves the, let's animate it, that revolves the hex around the cam, we are going to right click. I'm just going to suppress it. We could delete it, but suppress works as well. The nice thing about suppressing it is it has my hex piece centered around the screw, and that's actually important for what we're about to do, which is assemble, enable contact sets, assemble, new contact set. What do I want? This and that. Click OK should work now. Now this is really taxing on your computer, but if I move that in, you can now see that Mighty Byte clamp actually working. It's actually working really well. So what are contact sets? Contact sets are the CAD model trying to actually analyze physical interactions between parts. So in this case, it's not letting this Mighty Byte, uh, it's being driven by this Revolve. So it's a physical interference. Incredibly horsepower uh, requirements for your computer. So this is not really a good thing to do, uh, or you don't want to leave it on, so you could right click and say, actually you would just go up here to say, now we could uh, oops, uh, disable the contact, which means it doesn't do anything anymore like that. So is this the best solution? I don't know. Uh, the fact that it takes a little bit more setup work and the fact that it is, you can't have a lot of these in your model or it'll, it, it won't work for me at least. Uh, I'd like to still see a parallel, but for you guys that want to see how you get a Mighty Byte toe clamp working like that, there you go. Take care, folks. See you next Friday.